if you are watching this video, it probably means you have heard about hair grass from your colleague, peer, professor, or maybe research paper. But you might not have familiarity with the software. You're not sure what actually it is and how it works. Needless to say, you want to establish an acquaintance with the hair grass. So we'll discuss about hair grass and its interface in this video. Let's begin from the beginning. Now, HEGRAS stands for Hydrologic Engineering Center River Analysis System. It is developed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It allows you to perform 1D, that is one-dimensional steady flow, 2D, two-dimensional unsteady flow, sediment transport calculations, and water quality computations. That is to say, it proves handy if you want to analyze the flood velocity, uh, inundation depth, extent of flooding, or dam bridge analysis or the sedimentation deposit. Installation 2 is not a rocket science. It can be downloaded for free from the internet sites and you can easily install in a computer. Now let's delve into the Hegras interface. This is how a typical Hegras window look like. Not scary, right? Uh, up above, uh, it is the title bar. It displays the information about the name and version of software. Just underneath is the menu bar. There are several menu options uh, and they have their own respective functions. Okay. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new project. Just like the way we create a new document in MS Word or presentation in MS PowerPoint. And the project file you create will have the extension of .prz. For that, go to file and click a new project and navigate to the location that you want to uh, save the project okay, I'm going to document and let's say I'm going to provide the name of the file maybe practice underscore one okay something like that I'm giving a name and after I'm done with it I'll click on OK click on OK now you can see uh, the space next to the project displays the name of the project that is practice underscore one. Similarly, if you want to uh, open already created or saved projects, you s simply go to file, uh, open project and go to the address where the file is stored or you can simply select the file over here and click on OK. Now I won't waste your time by talking about save project or save project as because their function is similar as in all the applications uh, that is to save the current project or to create a copy of the current project. Right. So you can rename the project file or delete a project file if uh, deemed unnecessary and by its name it's clear that project summary offers you the summary of the relevant information in the project. Now, there might be some instances when you have to import data from other softwares uh, such as uh, GIS or export files from HeyGrass to GIS, then you can use these options of uh, import HeyGrass data or export GIS data. Uh, but in newer versions, HeyGrass offers uh, the RAS mapper. So you can carry out the GIS works within the HeyGrass system, so no need to worry much about them, right? So finally, you can click on exit to exit from the applications. You can see the recent uh, file at the uh, bottom of the menu, right? Okay. Pretty simple, right? Now let's jump into the edit menu. Uh, edit menu is concerned mainly with editing the geometric data, now entering the numeric value of different parameters of steady flow, on steady flow, uh, sediment, and water quality. So let me go to geometric data. So in this interface, you can see there are several options. Uh, you can add a river reach, define a storage area, add 2D flow area, and so on. And if you want to edit these parameters, there's in this in the vertical section, you could see the cross sections, bridge culvert, and so on. Right? You can simply click in these all respective sections and carry out the functions. Let me try the river reach. For example, if I click in river reach, you can see this pencil-like icon. I'll start uh, digitizing. Okay. When I'm done, I'll double click on it. There you go. 
so i have to provide the name of the river is maybe i'll give something like that river one one something like that some uh, meaningful name rich maybe rich uh, one and i'll click on ok so there you go so you can see this is my rich Gmail data has been created if i want to edit it or if i don't want it then i can simply go to edit you can change name you can move points you can add points remove points or if you want to delete it go to simply delete go to riches i'll go to this and i can click on ok so yes so it is deleted right uh, similarly if you go to say cross sections you could see the information here the station id elevation so you need to enter all this information the station id what's the elevation in each uh, elevation and so on and so forth right so this is all about entering geometric data editing them likewise you can go and go to steady flow data you can see various options providing uh, the rich information uh, providing the risk boundary conditions right so what sort of profile uh, upstream and downstream what sort of boundary condition are you going to apply uh, either using critical depth normal depth or using rating curve so on and so forth similarly for the on cd flow right now it starts to look scary but don't worry not all options are required for the project you are running you need to select only those options that are relevant for your project now after you have finalized the geometric data and entered the parameters value you should run the analysis now you can choose the option which best suits the modeling that you are performing right the next one is the view option the view of menu is mainly concerned with viewing the outputs uh, such as cross sections surface profiles summary table and so on the next one is the option menu you can select or change the setup of the programs and you can also choose the unit system or convert project units for example go to option and go to unit system right now the uh, system is system international metric system so if you want to work with the us customer just select it and click on ok yes so now you can see that you know this the system has been changed unit system right okay as said earlier the gis tool menu has the option of ras mapper it's like the gis integrated uh, within the hegras you can import dem uh, geometries and all the features directly into the ras mapper the basic gis suppression can be conveniently uh, performed here it's it's more like you know that the geometric data editing geometric data uh, but it can be carried out more easily and you don't need to worry about to convert the uh, format of the file you can directly import here carry out the operation here and you can view the results how how uh, how they appear all within this interface so it's pretty easy uh, if you if you are using it earlier the earlier versions probably didn't have this ras mapper so it was a tedious task to uh, you know convert the file bring to uh, hegras system then again convert back to gis it was quite a hectic task but right now with this ras mapper thing it's very easy and uh, convenient now the last uh, menu is the help now you can access the resources users manuals terms and conditions and download example projects from this uh, help menu right and the icons below uh, these are the shortcuts for the various operation for example this is the open file uh, is the save file you can uh, view already geometric data and so on and so forth so this is what actually the basic interface of hecras uh, look like i strongly recommend you to go through the users manual uh, simply go to help and fetch the resource manual uh, they would offer you much more perspectives about hecras right uh, you can or you can browse them in internet also not a big deal go through the uh, 
performed examples and that would offer you some sort of per, uh, wider perspective. That's all in the video. I hope it was useful.